morning everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm in Kent well I'm not am I in Kent like where I live I'm actually in the London borough of Bromley and um, I'm back in the village of Down D-O-W-N-E Down used to be in Kent but it still is in Kent really but now under the London borough of Bromley we are actually within the M25 uh, orbital around London still and we are also in the ULES zone you wouldn't believe it in this peaceful little village um, although you've got traffic coming through so yeah down now we were here two years ago with Wendy we went to Down House because obviously Down is associated with Charles Darwin evolutionary biologist um, some of the scientific work that was done here was amazing so we did visit the house and the gardens and had a nice pub lunch so I won't be going there today, but I will link that video below from two years ago with me and Wendy exploring Down House. So just a little explore of the village, have a look in the church again, St Mary's, and uh, come along. Yeah, when we had our pump lunch, we sat there, I remember, yeah. <laughs> go. Charles Darwin, 1809 to 1882, enjoyed a drink or two here at the Queen's Head in Down. So Charles Darwin drank here. Down really is Anglo-Saxon and it means literally down. We're actually on the North Downs uh, going into Kent, um, which is lovely, and the beautiful church. So Mary's was built in 1290, that's the earliest record they've got. And uh, it's a lovely old church, absolutely lovely old church. We've got the sundial up there, which was dedicated to um, Charles Darwin. It says there, the sundial is in memory of Charles Darwin, who lived and worked in Down for over 40 years. Although Charles Darwin was buried in Westminster Abbey, some of his children are here and descendants. Elizabeth, daughter of Charles Darwin, died June the 8th, 1926. So yeah, one of his daughters was um, buried in Marvin, I think it is, where she was having treatment for her illness when she died, so she's not local. Fantastic, beautiful yew tree here, which... Um, very old indeed. And, uh, I do like a, a lovely hollowed out yew. Fantastic, look at that. It's one of the best yews in the country apparently. So the yew society says. Sorry about the traffic. Is it lovely? Yeah. Um, memory also of Charles Darwin, who lived here for 40 years, who is now buried at Westminster Abbey, and, the, and of Emma, wife of Charles Darwin, who died, born, sorry, 2nd of May 1808 and died in 1896. It's a beautiful day today. The weather's been a bit fresh of late, considering we're nearly in May, it's uh, April the 26th today, Friday April the 26th, and it should be, a couple of weeks ago I was in 20 degrees in t-shirt, but it's not that cold, it's quite, quite warm actually, but it's only like 12 degrees, something like that. Um, come on summer, kick in.
yeah, this was open uh, before when we came here. So 700 years old, probably built on the site of an earlier Saxon church, steeple 16th century. But it's absolutely beautiful. We're not far from Biggin Hill. And um, it's very peaceful, very peaceful. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We've got some really cool brasses here and stone graves, wall graves. Some more tombs here. Edward Holt of Down. Uh, age 66 years, 1737. And sort of, no, uh, chap Henry Polar, I think it's covered a little bit by the chair, uh, age 29, 1693. And look at these old tombs, look at these. They're gorgeous. It's all in Latin, I don't read Latin. Here we go, all the rectors of the church. There is no record available of incumbents covering the period approximately 300 years from 1290. So we're going from 1585 with Oliver uh, Bathgate, Bathgate right up to 2010, William John Musson. Unless there's someone else since then. But yeah, no records before that, it's a shame. But I love those when they show all the rectors that have worked, uh, served here. And this is amazing. It says here lieth, but I don't know how to be lieth. I think it's probably out in the graveyard. I don't know why it's here, but this chap was born in Venice. And uh, we're going, where is it? Uh, 1607 was the time they did this in 1606. So I don't know why that's here. I'm sure it says it's somewhere in the history of the place. It says, you know, an ancient church and open, which is wonderful. I do like it when churches are open. What did I say on one of the last videos? Bring out money, Mark, then you can buy a little guide box, only 50p. Oh. The font was built locally, they believe, and it's probably 15th or 16th century. Gorgeous. The roof doesn't look that old, actually. I don't know if there was a refurbishment, probably says it in the guide book. But it looks quite a recent roof, or recent-ish. So John William Lubbock, Baronet, uh, died in 1865, distingu distinguished as an astronomer and mathematician. He was for many years treasurer and vice president of the Royal Society. Thank you, St Mary's, for letting us have a little walk around. Very peaceful, very peaceful. I'm going to take five minutes out and have a bit of a deep meditation well a little meditation as it's so quiet even the traffic outside is quiet not too bad not too bad some of these villages have come thundering through all the time um, yeah, I like down down's a very nice very nice little village considering it's sort of really in suburbia still um, it's away from the main um, a roads and what have you so yeah Move on. And they've got a fantastic book swap here, which is great. Isn't that amazing? Little book swap. Just come in, exchange, great. Yes, this will be north that way, so this is a nice blocked off north door, yeah. So there you go, just a little walk around down in the church. I know we've been here before, but I thought it would be nice to take you back here. Because in the next video we're going to the nearby village, 
uh, of Cuddam, which will be the next video. So if you have enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.